Who needs more time? Okay. What do you make of it? Uh, I don't know. It was really... It was very um, different than any dream I had before. Yeah. And... Um, I, I don't really... I don't know. I, I don't really see much drama in the dream other than that very s interesting experience that happened to me. I have no idea what to make of it. Okay. Pick up the line. You call that working? Read it. You call that working? Let me show you how it's done. And I jumped or flew over the fence and into their workspace. Okay, hold it there. What was that like? Saying that? As you were saying it? You call that working? Let me show you how it is done. I was very uh, compelled, like, I just kind of, uh, I, I jumped into action and I was, I was flying. It was, it was like, it was like I didn't even, um, it, it, it seems like it just happened rather than me um, mm -hmm. d doing it. When you said, let me show you how it's done. Yeah. Then, what was that like? I don't quite remember, but what, what I do what I do remember is that it was um, it was quite a rushed. I was I felt rushed, um, and there was a, a sense of pride in mm -hmm. it. There was a sense of pride, and. Just a, 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 a strong, very strong um, sense of uh, flying or um, being like a wind. Like no, talk a, about that straight. Um, I don't know if I like it or not. It's like... Um, okay, that's all right. It's very light, in a sense, but it's also um, kind of like uh, like compelled or um, I don't know if forced is too strong of a word, but um, it's like something is pulling me. Something is pulling me very strongly in that direction. There's a strong pull, very strong pull. So much that it's as if I'm not even doing anything. I'm just being pulled.
Yeah. Uh, did you uh, notice that you answered that question or that point? Let me show you how it's done. Let me show you how it is done. Did you show them how it is done? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> I, mean, I think what I meant was like show them how to work properly, <laughs> how to do the work that they were doing. Um, yeah, that plays a major role, right? right? The work? Yeah, well, the, you want to show them how it should be noble, right? Is that right? I guess, yeah. No, no, from what you're saying. Um, how to be noble. Yeah, that fits. Yeah. 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 Uh, did you notice then that you went through um, four phases? Four. Um, I, I didn't count them, but... Yeah, well... There was a... Um, a very quick... First cut. Is that right? Yeah. Come on. Second. Uh, cut again. Well, cut more than once. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. It just kept on going. It was like um, it was like in the, in the blink of an eye. I, after I was cut, I would suddenly I was in a different location. You're then a brick. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're wood. And you're a nail. Is that right? Yeah. And along with each of these comes a feeling state. Doesn't yeah. It? It's it's the same state throughout, but increasing in yeah. increasing um, in intensity. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> now just look. Come on. What are you doing? <laughs> These are all... Come on. What are they? I don't know. Well, they're ma building materials. They're building materials, yeah. 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 Uh, with cutting. Yeah. Right? Then what did you do in this dream? What did you become? Building materials. All of those things. Yeah. See? Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> Were you showing them how it's done? Did you become these I mean, objects? I was showing them something, but I don't huh? know. I was showing them something, but I don't know. Uh, I mean, I don't know if they were even aware that... Uh, just, but just in terms of the dream, uh, it doesn't not follow. If you want to show them how it's done, you're becoming these things, experiencing these things. Yeah, I was experiencing them, yeah. It's <laughs> like I was... Yeah. yeah, it's like I became those things, and then yeah. it was very painful yeah. every time that that cut happened. Yeah. Uh, that's an interesting state, isn't it? Compelled to jump into action. Can yeah. you put more words on it, please? Come on, what's your word?
talk about that. I mean, it's I don't, not sure what to say about it. It's it's very light. It's um, compelled to compelled. jump into action, and we use the word light several times. The flying is light, right? It's, it's like it's like I became the wind, and I was pulled into that that action that I wanted to do. It's like... Um, yeah, good, good. Yeah. I became the wind and then became each of those things. Now, what was that like? Again, uh, say something more about it. Got it? Yeah, it's... What do you got? Hmm? I got you good. This will... Oh, yeah, a whole new set. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. It's, so, it's a very interesting thing because it was... In a, in a sense, it was really, I mean, opening, it, like, it cracked me open. But at the same time, it was very painful. So it's kind of like, uh, it was good and bad, I want to say. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, if whatever I thought I was, ego or whatever, it, it was just kind Done. of gone. Done, right? Killed. That's right. I was killed. As if death is continuous that was death just experience. Like I died four right? times. These are all seen as death experiences. Yeah. In the sense that it destroys whatever else was prior. It was a complete, complete. destruction. Right. Yeah. Say, so, um, I'd like to get back to that compelled to jump into action. Like I became like like the wind. Is that right? Yeah. Oh. Uh, when have you experienced that before? Um, that same <coughs> state? Huh? I've experienced it before. What? Um, well, the, the thing that comes to mind is yeah. um, at times when I've... Uh, when I've seen like a beautiful girl and I wanted to talk to her and um, sometimes I would be in that state and I would just go. Gone. I would just go and talk to her. Just? I would go and talk to her. Pardon? I would go and talk to her. You want to talk to her? Yeah. You want to get close? Yeah. Yeah. And it's like this experience. Yeah. Yeah, good, 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 good. Give an earlier one. And like when I was a kid and like I really wanted to do something like play video games or yeah for video games for example um, the way that I would uh, move towards that activity was like that what happened in that scene you're talking about Well, it's just kind of like an effortless, um, there's like a magnet there, and I'm just being pulled towards it. Yeah. Do you have anything else in your memory about that event? Um, Was it interrupted? Or did it go on for several years, centuries? 
How old do you think? Uh, that one is like Five? seven, six. Seven? Seven. Okay, come on. Um, what room were you in? The the bedroom. My, our our bedroom in my. Your bedroom. My, my parents. Parents' bedroom. We we had the same bedroom. Okay, good. Um, okay, go ahead. And. I think I had just gotten my um, uh, game, the com video game, Nintendo, and um, like th there's a there's a whole world to be explored within that game, and and I know this, uh, so the the kind of um, vigor that I go into it with is very much like that much state. Like yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It's like I don't even have to think about it. Yeah, what happened to that state? Anything you can say? You're in the bedroom, you know, you're just given that game. Oh. Right. Well, a lot of the time I, I played it and it was great, but... You, a lot of the time I would play it and it was great, but sometimes, very often, my parents would make me feel guilty about playing it. How? Like, um, like s saying things like, um, you're always playing that game and you never go outside, or, um, but then when I, do spend a lot of time outside, then they're like, you're outside all of the time, you should be at home more. And it's like, I'm like being pulled and pushed into different pulled directions. Pulled and pulled in two directions, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. And I, I was always like so, baffled by so that. So that's here, and also when you're outside, the same thing. Right, exactly. Yeah. And yeah. It's, it's like... Um, Yeah, what what are they? What would you say they're doing? They're teaching me something. What? They're teaching me something. Something? Yeah, I maybe I was thinking along the same lines. What? Yeah. Come on. Well, it's like you can't be into anything uh, past what, a certain point. Whether it's in or out of the house. Right. Um, it's like do this. No, do that. Don't do that. Do this. Don't do that. Do this. It's like. There's no depth in anything. It's, it's just, a it's a death. Well, I mean, you have to give it up. Whatever it is, what happens? Yeah, I have to give it up. You have to give it up. Because I should be doing the other thing. You should all be doing the other thing. Yeah. Right? Right. Yeah, that, that's a very familiar... Why not come on? It's a very familiar state. I should always be doing the other thing. Right. So, uh, and that, that happens to me, like, when I'm I really into something, whatever it is, yeah. um, when I get to a certain depth, I always think, I always end up moving to something else. You mean you're applying what you've been taught to yourself? Exactly. Hmm. It's like I'm reading a book and then I'm like, uh -oh. Oh, okay, I have to play the piano. Yeah, now. yeah, once you get into it, you better get out of it. Right. So I keep on jumping from yeah. activity yeah. to activity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what are they doing? What would you say they're doing? Well, they're sabotaging me, but that's... Yeah, that's, that's true, uh, but look, see... It's not very specific. Yeah, okay, look here, try something else. Um, how do they know when it's time to play that stunt on you? Well, they, they probably recognize... That you're in? In a 
high state. In a high state. Uh, who set it up? Well, they, they bought me the Nintendo. Oh, they gave you the game. They gave it to me. And, and then when you get into it, they play this number on you. And like, if I'm, if I'm, if they're, if they're out of the house, and I'm, I'm playing it, I'm playing the game, when they come back, they look at me and they're like, look at him, he's been playing the game the whole time. Why don't you go do something, or why don't you go outside and play? No. So, so then, after a while, <coughs> even now, when I do play the game, I feel guilty about playing it while I'm playing it. Oh, well, it worked. They're making you feel guilty about playing. Uh, therefore, how deep can you go into anything? Up to a certain point, and then? And then it's, <laughs> yeah. Hmm. And then it's cut. Well, you see, now put it in terms of the game of the dream. You're willing to show them how it should be done. Do you end up showing them how it is done, or do you become the finisher? Um, well, yeah, I, I don't think I... I don't think that they learned anything. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... What does that mean? Is that sense of nobility of when you're entering into the game? Whatever game it is? Yeah. 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 Very important. They don't seem to like you getting into that state of mind, do they? No, they don't. Mm. They have words for it. Yeah, what? Uh, you're so serious. Huh? You're so serious. More. They'll say like, I think that that's the one I've noticed recently. It's like, you're too serious. You're like being too serious. Being it's too serious. It's a bad thing. Yeah, it's a bad thing being serious. It's a really bad thing. It's like, yeah. you, you, you should, should just become uh, should be any, every of these, any of these things alive? No, they're not. No. They're dead, and they and they average. Yeah, it's like you should be average. Yeah, that's average. <laughs> that's as average as you can be. Yeah, bricks and nails. <laughs> yeah. um, are you, do you get into uh, some of Plato's dialogue? And uh, do you know when it's time to quit? When you get in a good state of mind in yeah. what you're doing? When I get deep. Yeah. Yeah. What does this do for you to look at this dream in this way? Well, it's it's very disturbing. It's, it's disturbing. It's like what is disturbing? Well, it's disturbing. Like, did you ever tell them? what it was like doing what they were doing to you? No, I didn't. No. No. Even though they were getting you to give up good states of mind. Is this continually killing you? Back and forth? Back yeah. Forth? Yeah. I wonder what would have happened if you mentioned uh, what it's like to be caught in that trap.
It's like things are always getting away from me. It's like I'm trying to hold on to something, but then that then that comes that in. cut happens, and then it just it disappears. It's like right, it right, just fades, right, right, right. and now I'm into this other thing, and it's like. Yeah. I wonder if this is going to make any difference in what you're going to be doing today and tomorrow. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. good. <laughs> Fun? Yeah. Good. Well, that is good. Yeah. I think Thank this you. is yours. Yay. Need a couple of more dreams. Ah! You have, you have one? Oh, I did, but Marianne, uh, Belinda, helped me with it. Yes or no? Well, it was from about a month ago. <laughs> no, it's, it's up to you so. from Charlie. Yeah. yeah, it's quite old. Um, oh, I had it written down. I don't know if it was. But it's very potent still. All right, all right. I can see my family. <laughs> Good. Good. We play. What do you make of it, sir? Um, thank you for doing it after the talk, by the way. Appreciate it. Um, well, I think the... The high point or the, well, there are, there are two high points or crisis points. One is, um, I think, more of a high point, and that's seeing the sun through the trees. And the other is more of a crisis high point in the sense of merging with that fellow on the, with the cars. Mm -hmm. And the attitude I take or try to appear to take while mm -hmm. that's happening. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And then there's also... Um, I think the wor there's a worry that comes up, uh, the, the fear at the end. Is he going to be okay? Um, but the goal, the original, at least the surface goal of finding this turnoff road is never reached. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, look. Um, first part. Um, Oh, you guys Is don't there some reason why we can't hear the dream? Yeah. Do you want me to read the dream? Because they can't. We don't have any copy. Oh. That's my fault sure for oh. doing it last minute. Yes, could you read it? Please? I can read it, you bet. And when you get my underlining, that's what I want to ask you for a state of mind. Go ahead. Okay. Thank I'll, you. I'll, I'll tell you guys where that is. So I've got to go back to school and take two courses. One is algebra. I don't know what the other is, or I, or I do, but it's, anyway, I can't remember. It's, it's language or something. After that, uh, I'll have, after algebra, I'll have to go through calculus and stuff, and I wonder even where the classroom is um, and how to get there. And that's common with scene two. There's a lot of looking around, and it's, very, it's the same thing. Um, and how to get to this classroom, because the term or the quarter has, has already started. In fact, I'm a little bit surprised that they'll even accept me this late. I ask a friend uh, where, well, and oh, the classes, it, it's going to be really early in the morning or something. So anyway, I ask a friend how to get there. And I think she tells me, or she smiles, or kind of tells me. She also shows me her copy of the book that she had. It's kind of loose, spiral-bound. The author is Dorna Bell or something like that. And it's purplish and it's about algebra. And I have a copy too. But they're not exactly the same. So, and this is the part Pierre underlined. I want to ask her to borrow hers, but I guess I can't bring myself to do it. That's What's the, that like? That's the part he underlined. What's that like? Mm -hmm. you, she will stop reading at this point? Um... Uh, there you are, ready to a ask someone for this kind of thing. 
And what does it do to you? It stops me. It, it stops me. More words. But, yes. well, it goes by so quickly, it's hard to unpack. Let's see. Um, it's just a flick. Um... I guess I feel uh, well. The rest of that sentence is or comma. It's just that the two of them look very similar. The two books, her book and mine. So I I guess I feel embarrassed that I'm asking her for this book that's really essentially the same as mine. Uh, I feel shy, embarrassed, kind of um, Is there anything like I want to speak. About the girl? I, no, I don't remember. No. Nothing notable. So okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's a state of mind. Yep. Right. Okay. Um. I wonder what it will be like to go back through algebra. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, that's, yeah, that's a lot of, uh, <laughs> that's a lot of, uh. uh. I'm thinking about it and I'm going, geez, why am I going back through algebra and calculus and all this stuff that I've been through before? Uh, uh, you know, and I try to think of, as I said in the dream, I try to think of the pros and the cons of it. At, at least it'll prepare me for, you know, maybe it'll help me brush up and warm back up again. Then this is another question you're not asking. Uh, which? In the dream, you're not asking the instructor or whoever is running the show. Like, why am I doing this? Yeah. Y yes, that's right. Yeah, what's that like then, knowing that? You say, I feel a bit dejected. You know, that's a very odd, that's a very odd about the dream, isn't it? Like, I, I'm assuming in the dream that I have to, but I'm not asking where that came from. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And then the third puzzle is there are two classes and you wonder whether you can do them both, right? Yes. What's, again, what's that like? Um... It... it um, well, it's another unanswered question. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's like ruminating. It's like worrying all the time. Worry, worry, worry. Yes. Even though, come on, even though this is going back over something you've already done. Right. I wanted to say that. Yeah, it's going back over something I've already done before. And... Taking one algebra class and one language class, at least in waking life, would would but not be normally hard. Nonetheless, what's it like then to worry? Come on, at that time, even though. <laughs> what's it like to worry? <laughs> what's it like to worry? What's it like to worry? Well. Mm -hmm. uh, 
I don't know if this answers the question, but it's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what it's like to worry is the exact opposite of uh, easy way to live. Mm -hmm. Good, more good. I like that. In other words, it, it pulls me out of the simple state of the just do it, go for it, you know, uh, or find out what you need to find out, or you know. So then you go along with it. So I'm going along with it, but it. Uh, yes, I see what you. It it introduces a lot of questions about which I worry. I don't take care of those by asking or doing. I just stay in this. I stay in my head. Don't. Again, not yeah. asking is predominant, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um. And again, uh, you don't know where you're going. That repeats itself, doesn't it? With in the, the car. Yeah. In two in aspects of the car. Yeah, the second scene? Yeah. yeah I think seven. they want me to probably read this. Just so they're... Yes, please. Okay, so... Thank you. So I'm flipping through the pages of both of these algebra books and wondering what it will be like to go back through algebra. That's what he was asking. And I feel a little bit dejected that I have to go all the way this far back. But on the other hand, I think, well, it's been so long. Maybe this is good. Going through algebra will prepare me for the higher level math work and the stuff I'll have to go through, blah, blah, blah. So this will be a warm up and refresher. And I wonder whether I will be able to handle doing these two classes, which I while I have a job as well. Uh, and it's here I have a little interlude. I, as I'm dictating, I say, actually, as I dictate this dream, I am reminded of the scene from Waking Life where my mother was bringing me to a karate lesson and I was arriving late. Mm -hmm. so, scene, so that's a thing that came right as I was dictating. Scene two is uh, really much longer. I'm driving around in one of these big old cars from the 70s and I'm in the countryside and I'm looking for this turnoff from the main road and this turnoff road is, is called Mount Bell or something like that. Anyway, I can't find it. can't find this turnoff. And these are the typical hilly, straight, big old roads we used to have out in the country in Ohio when I was a kid. And we used to drive these big old cars out there, sometimes really fast. And I drive around twice, but when I say around, I'm talking about a couple of miles or several miles in a big square um, because the roads are so infrequent in the countryside. You have to go a mile each way. So because I missed this turnoff, and uh, now I've missed it, well, not so much that I missed it, but I, I know it should have been right there, but there wasn't anything there to turn. The road wasn't there. So I go down to the next intersection, which is probably a mile down, and I take a right, then go about another mile and take another right. So I'm doing this big square. And I pass all the roads that I had passed before. And I know I'm getting closer again. And part of it is, is driving through dot, dot, dot. Well, anyway, there's a sign that announces this town. And the town's name is something like Mount Bell. But again, that's not exactly the right name. I can't remember it. But anyway, so it's a town that has the same name as the road turnoff that I was looking for. So no, so I know I'm closer again. And all the lawns there are manicured really beautifully. So this is like an upper class area. Maybe it's like an upper class private college or something, but it's just planted out there in the middle of the cornfields. And it's cold, really like morning frost cold. And I, as I'm driving along, I looked to my left and through these trees and I can barely see some sunshine coming through the trees. And it's so early in the morning that I can't believe that I actually saw some sunshine through these trees. So I look to the left again, and even though it is foggy and hazy, through the trees I can still see some, some sun, some orange sun. And Pierre has that checked. And one of the roads is called Viago, which I've gone through or passed before. 
And I'm not sure if I should go further south or not, but I decided to take a right on this and come back around in this big square I'm doing. So I slow down and I come up to the intersection and I'm about ready to take a right there, but there's a big car that's zooming past just then as I'm merging. It's almost like a highway ramp merge in at this point, even though we're on country roads. And he doesn't move over, so I slow down and let him merge, or, or well, I merge and let him go ahead. And as I do this, let him go by and slow down, I'm sort of leaning against the, the left B pillar of the car, just looking down, kind of disheveled is the word I use, crumpled, but trying to look casual, you know, leaning back behind the steering wheel, kind of like I don't mind or anything. And he goes ahead, and he's in some kind of orange Oldsmobile or something. Well, and just for the heck of it, now I'm following him. I will, we drive past that place where I tried to find the turnoff again, that road, but still it's not there. And I'm still following him, and at some point I decide for the heck of it to just hit the gas and hear what the car sounds like. And I do. And it makes a big roar. And I can hear the, I can feel the acceleration. And apparently he can hear me when I hit my accelerator doing this behind him, and it causes him, dot, dot, dot. Well, maybe he thinks I'm trying to race him or something, but it causes him to hit the gas also. So I enjoy these big old cars, but I think his car is bigger and faster than mine even. And when he puts on the accelerator, his car puts down a third wheel <laughs> up front. And I think, oh yeah, that's what these cars do when you hit the gas. And then he roars ahead, but he hits a little bit of an uplift in the road, and it sends him soaring in the air. And I wonder if he will be able to land safely or not because he's up so high. Mm -hmm. Oh, I switched your pages around, didn't I? Okay, here we are. Could you read this part again? Sure. Okay, 10, could you read 10 up again? And when you get there, I need a state of mind. Okay. And one of the roads is called Viago, which I've gone through or passed before. And I'm not sure if I should go further south or not. Uh, and here's where Pierre underlined. But I decide to take a right on this and come back around. Um. <laughs> I can't remember that scene very well. That's uh, okay. That part very well. Uh, That's all right. I, um, that part is very interesting mm -hmm. because um, that part is the opposite. It, it's just like the last dream I did up here a couple weeks ago with you. It's very easy to miss a decision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. In terms of your story and yeah. the dream, acting it out, how important is this moment in terms of your goal? Um, Just read it again, okay? That part? Just the part you underline? Mm -hmm. But I decide to take a right on this road and come back around. 
right? That's a decision. It is. It is. And it's a decision that I had no trouble making. That's right. It was... And it looks like it's the right one. Well, I know that's where the thrust of your question was, but I was trying to... Why, on what basis do you make the decision that it... Or the I conclusion that it was in right? In terms of the drama of the dream, how important is that moment? Because... After that... Well, I never find the dang road I'm looking for, Pierre, so no, <laughs> I don't know what you're no, talking about. No. The point is, at that moment, yeah. what are you doing? You feel good about making this judgment, um, you said. I'm not going to argue with that, but, I mean, there's nothing here saying I feel good, but it's just that I... It, it's, it's almost like... It's, it's more than feeling good. It just is. It's an interesting state, isn't it? Yes. More. <laughs> Come on. Come on, you got it. How can more be said about that state? <laughs> uh, it just is. It is. <laughs> and it goes by so quickly. Yeah, but... Um, that... It's easy to focus on all this other drama That's and true. worrying and ruminating, so, but yet a decision was made. That's right. And, now, uh, and look, I made it. Yeah, but after that state, then this starts. The, the, the episodes with the two cars and the struggle. Oh. Yes, it is right after that that, this, that I decided to take what a right here and this guy that? comes up. Okay, so you, I thought you were phrasing the question in terms of the goal of the dream. But if I, if I say instead that it's, it, cha it changes everything, the whole drama of the dream yeah. changes on the basis of that decision. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Then in this, if we want to call it for the moment a tangent, you are able to act deliberately in this tangent, aren't you? You make decisions. You're not wondering about whether or not this is right or wrong. Characterize well, I the way do, you are. I do wonder at the end if he's going to be okay once he takes that yeah, jump. That's true. That's the only time. That's right. In fact, I'm having fun with the accelerator. Yeah. And making the car zoom and, yeah. uh, but so, hey, deliberate, conscious, and I'm enjoying these big old, enjoying these it? big old boats. Come on, enjoying it. <laughs> About four miles per gallon. No <laughs> question, until the end. Right, no question until the end. Although you're in there a good is, state of mind, except for but you that, left this. Well, what's going on at that merge where I'm kind of leaning up and just, you know, eh, okay, buddy. That's why I'm interested more in that state of mind. It's right. Just is. Which happened right before that. Yeah. Uh, you, um, well, I'm not being facetious. I'm, I really mean that when I make a decision to take a right on this, it's only afterwards that I realized they did. No. No. It goes by that quickly. There That's, is no ruminating. No. There is no feeling no. even. There is but no... It, it turned off all of it's this. It's just think... It turned off all of the above. Yeah, now we're in a totally different game. No. This state, therefore, has a certain power, doesn't it, in terms of all that preceded it. Boy, does it ever... Instead of wandering around the country looking for stupid roads, now I'm in a race with this guy. <laughs> like to get more into that state? Oh, well, that's the problem with the dream, or my, with my life, I think, is that um, when I get into that state, I, or I'm worried about getting into that state, because now I have to worry about... Interacting with people. That's right. That's right. That's a doorway into interacting with people. Right? 
Um, can right. we just skip that whole thing about That's interacting right. with people? I really don't want to do it. Right. <laughs> he cut me off that rat bastard. Right. And therefore, it overcomes the shy, the embarrassment. Well, it sure does. But now I'm in a, now I'm in another problem. It may be a higher problem, but it's well. Let's hope so. <laughs> you can you can trade one for the other. <laughs> and now you're on the verge of getting in that state of mind and interacting on a nice level. <clears throat> Danger. Hmm. Fun. Yes. Danger, yes. That's a good state, isn't it? Um, well, if one can take that state into the next level as well, sure. then yes. Yeah, then you'll have to see. That's all. Yeah. Good. 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 Fun. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, all of you. Miss, what did you want to say?